Hey guys, Kevin the Comic Doctor coming to you with another CGC unboxing. It's been a few weeks, a couple of weeks anyways, and I had two big boxes arrived uh, last Friday. I haven't had a chance to even look at them. It was my 50th birthday celebration this week, and look at this. Got a nifty shirt from one of my buddies, one of my work chums. Nice, eh? And make some more of those. Maybe I'll start giving these out. I love this shirt. Anyways, uh, I had a big celebration this week, and for my uh, my wife threw me a big 50th birthday party, and uh, so I didn't get a heck of a lot of uh, t didn't, have, didn't have a lot of time to work on uh, doing any videos. So I'm trying to get them all done today. And uh, like I said, two big boxes came. I'm going to do uh, one today, and I'll probably do the other one later in the week. Uh, so let's get started. The first book actually is one of my own books. This is a copy of Iron Man Submariner number one. Now this one. I picked up uh, not too long ago actually. I, I sent it through uh, Express Tier uh, a few weeks ago and now it is back with an 8.5. I was hoping for a 9, but an 8.5 is not too bad. This book's pretty pretty hot, so quite happy with that. Anyways, I'll put that over there because that one's going in my PC for a little while until Tony Stark comes back and then maybe I'll sell it. We'll see. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, we got a couple of magazines. Ah. Oh, wow, that took a lot of effort. Got a copy of Raphael, uh, number one, one shot, and an 8.5. A copy of Fantastic Four, what is it, uh, 36, in a 6.0. A copy of Fantastic Four, 45, and an 8.5. That's a nice grade on this one. First in humans. Fantastic Four, 72, in a 7.0. A copy of X-Men 10, in a 8.0, nice grade. Unfortunately, it received a purple label. Apparently, there was some trimming on the bottom cover bottom edge of top oh, top and bottom of cover is trimmed so unfortunately that received an eight purple label still a hot book the Kazar is it Kazar or Kazar I always called them Kazar anyways copy of X-Men 14 with the first Sentinels and a 5.0 first Kang and Avengers 8 and a 6.5 that's a nice mid-grade book that's not too bad at all. Fantastic 418 in a 4.5. Nice early FF book. And a Fantastic 419 in a 4.0. That's an early, I guess, uh, Rema Tut is connected to Kang as well. Here's an X Factor 24 signed by Louise and Walt Simonson in a 9.8. Not too bad. A nice Fantastic 420 in a 4.0. Lots of early FF books in this lot, guys. FF21 in a 6.0. FF20 in a 4.0. Oh, I'm so jealous of this one. X-Men 28. First Banshee in a 9.0. That book is gorgeous. Oh, yeah, look at that. 9.0. Love it. And it's a white pager, too, I think. Yes, white pages. Nice. X-Men 58, First Havoc in an 8.5 white pages. Another nice one. Amazing Spider-Man 15, first appearance of Kraven the Hunter in a 1.0. Still hot. Amazing Spider-Man 101 in a 9.0. Again, white pages. Wow. Nothing wrong with that, guys. I can't wait to, to actually go through the books to see who's who belo who's belonged to who. Because I'm not sure. I think I have an idea, but I'm not 100% sure. New Mutants 98 in an 8.0. Another first appearance of Kang, Avengers number 8 in a 6.0 this time, and it's a white pager as well. X-Men 12, first Juggernaut in a 3.0. Werewolf by Night 32, first Moon Knight, super, super hot book in a 6.5. It's a Nyx, guys. NYX. NYX number 3. What grade do I usually get these books back in? If you've been watching this show for any period of time, you know... Bang, 9.8, another 9.8. I tell you, I have good luck where these books are concerned. Now, I worked on one recently that wasn't quite as nice. So I'm curious to see what it comes back at. But so far, man, most of these NYX books I get come back at 9.8. So I'm quite happy with that. Amazing Spider-Man, 194 and a 9.8. Gorgeous book. Wow. I did not expect a 9.8, but... We'll take it. That's awesome. Amazing Spider-Man number six in a 5.0. Now, if you guys recall, this is Ben's book. We I did a whole video on this book. We, we tried it. We thought we were going to see if we can get a bump 
Remember Ben was kind of concerned about uh, the slab and, we, and he wanted to have it re-slab. So we thought, why the heck not? We'll give it a gamble and see if we can bump it up to a 5.5 five or a 6. Take a look at the video I have posted on this particular book. I show the before and afters. What do you think? Do you think the book deserved a great bump? Anyways, I guess CGC did not think so because it stayed at a 5.0. Nonetheless, gorgeous book. And I think Ben's happy it's a blue label because he was concerned it was not. Okay, last but certainly not least, Tales of Suspense 94 in a 5.5. First appearance of MODOK, another hot book. Wow, this was an awesome box of CGC slabs majority of which were silver and bronze age which is what i love to see i hope you enjoyed this box i have another box waiting in the wings to be featured here uh in a couple of days or so uh the next show you're going to see from me is another episode of what's in the press so you know what guys make sure you hit that notification bell because when i upload videos you'll be the first to know that a video has been added and you know what if you haven't done so already guys please consider subscribing to my channel liking the content sharing the content and be sure to leave a comment, because when you do, you're automatically entered for a chance to win one of those amazing prizes I will be giving out when I hit 1,000 subscribers. Be sure to take a look at the information section below for more details on that. All right, my friends, that's it for me. I'm getting out of here. You take care. See you soon. Bye for now.